Hey you guys, guess who's out biking? First time since the big chill. Yep, we're on the road again. This pink light, miss being out. Look at who my partner is. <laughs> I got him to come out here with me. So, my adventures with the mail lady continue. Um, we checked our mail box yesterday and got, you know, promotional stuff and things like that. There was nothing there. Uh, oh no, it was the day before yesterday. Nothing there. And then yesterday, she crammed in three of these things and wrote on it that our mailbox was too full yet we check it every day and uh, there was like all these other bills in there and I'm just like these I've had you drop these off at my door before like they have been dropped off at my door this whole package in mailbox just started and the mailbox it's like you know if um we live in a house but the mailbox area, it's like an apartment complex. The tiny little things. And they don't have a big one where, you know, they leave a key in your mailbox to open up if you have a big packages or anything like that. They're, that's not a thing here. So I'm just like, okay, well, if, why couldn't it come to my door? I understand that they do... Um, they do a lot. They have a lot of things, but also it'd be easier on you if you just dropped it at the door. It's nothing heavy, you know, to bring and just dump on my chair. I've seen her literally from the sidewalk because I can see you out my window toss packages onto my front porch. Not walk up to the front porch, but toss it from the sidewalk. So... I don't know. My uncle used to do, um, he used to be a mail carrier in California for 15 years until a dog escaped and bit him and he has like a gnarly scar on his leg. And then he just, I guess that got him and he got, it. and he doesn't do it anymore. But anywho, sorry for the mail rant, mail rant situation. Um, it's just, I don't want her getting upset. We do check it every day. Um, I understand, you know, mail's always busy, especially now everybody orders things online and everything, but it's not like, I don't know what to do. I can't be there the moment you go and drop the things off. I pick it up at in the evening when we go for our evening walk, you know, every day. So... Any hoodles, that being said, I got my Mardi Gras um, shirt in. Uh, we, I'm going to a bunco party with the ladies. I, I had a friend let me borrow something just in case this didn't make it in, but this is like the perfect purple for it. I know it's Mardi Gras flashy, so um, that came in. I just tossed it on my chair. And, uh, then what else? Is this one for me or for my friend? Because I got one for my friend and one for myself. I think this one, let me see the size. Oh no, this one's, it's a, it says haunted. It's like a, um, a t-shirt. And if it's, <laughs> Um, that one shirt that I got in an extra large was too big. So that had to, uh, well, I didn't like return it, but I, I like cut the length of it because it was, um, almost to my knees. So I cut the length off and it, now it hits my mid thigh. So it still covers my bum and everything. And, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's cute. And then I got it in, 
Razorback for when I'm bike riding. Um, so those were on sale. I got them for, I think it was under $25 for both of them. Uh, when I shop, I shop a uh, clearance, unless it's something that, at least for clothing, um, unless it's something like a dining table. And even that I'll wait, maybe not a clearance, but I'll wait for them to be having a sale or a, um, if you pay it within the year, there's no interest fees or anything like that. Um, and like right now you just saw me. I had three packages, but it was like for three shirts. Um, so it's normally like that. And then, uh, um, I don't know. I, I feel like I have to explain because I don't want people thinking, oh, she just, you know, the purple shirt was like $13. So this whole thing was under $40 um, for that. And I don't have anything like that sequence because I'm not a very sequence type of person but for uh the bunko it's Mardi Gras themed so I needed something um anyways uh I, I'm having this issue so I have an apple watch and my son got me the Fitbit is it even on yeah because it's uh I just need something to track my steps and everything but the thing with, that I like about the Apple Watch is that like when we went on our bike ride, I could just go and put bike, like outdoor biking, and it would track all that. My husband used the phone app, but if I'm not, if I'm riding and I'm not with him, I can do it that way. Um, the problem is that I don't always remember and the Apple Watch was, uh, bought pre-loved well did he buy it or did he get it for free i don't know one of those two it was from a co-worker that um they upgraded and they just weren't using it they just had it so i'm like i'll take it you know <laughs> it was before the fifth day and uh, then i have to charge it every night um so it doesn't track my sleep because it's charging um and the fitbit does so, you know, they each do different things. So now I'm going to be the weirdo with an Apple Watch here and a Fitbit here. <laughs> um, because I want to keep, like, track of it. Because, um, so the Fitbit didn't take into account any other biking. And it's, you know, it kind of sucks because it's calories burnt and effort put in. But the Apple will do it. So I've just convinced myself right now, I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna go charge it up and put it at the gym um, and start wearing it again. I should probably get a band. Um, I wore it for all summer long with one of the stretchy bands. And <laughs> like when I say I wore it, I wore it like it, that thing I would sometimes take it off because the band was so sweaty um you know and just let it air dry <laughs> I, I don't know I don't even know if it, you can wash it you probably can I don't know I'll check it out but I'm gonna get um you know just one from Amazon like a silicone one or something like that that won't get damaged because I'm not the easiest person on uh, my fitness things like you know i use them so that's that oh and today is leg day and we went biking yeah i know it wasn't like a really long bike it was only like two point something miles and um, it took us 15 minutes but it was my first time back like i said in a very very long time and just getting back into it, I when we were done, I wasn't out of breath. Um, just, it felt good. Uh, this Friday is gonna be my second week of going straight to the gym every day. You know, like I said, five days a week, taking a Saturday and Sunday off. I'm thinking on Saturdays, I'll um, 
just go bike riding with my husband instead of going at five o'clock in the morning and we'll go at six. Um, the reason we go so early, it's because he has to go to work as well. So, and we go to sleep early, so it works out. You know, we're not like night owls that are struggling to get up. Well, I don't struggle to get up at all. I struggle to stay asleep. Um, but he's so sweet and he's coming with me and he's being so supportive. Um, I really appreciate that. And I just want to shout him out here for it. Thank you, babe. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Today's leg day. We'll see how I feel and, uh, <laughs> wish me luck. Bye. Y'all, I'm just getting home, back from the gym. It was a workout. Um, I don't know why I was extra tired today. Um, I don't think it was the bike ride, but it was leg day, so I felt it. <laughs> oh, let's hope we do good. Thank goodness for being in a one-story house. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, you guys. <clears throat> I'm sorry I have that morning voice. <laughs> it's all scratchy and deep. Um, what's in the agenda for today? A lot of cleaning. It has been today, right now, it's 42 degrees outside. Um, and at the end of the week, last week, it was high 60s. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you don't know what's gonna happen. But um, I have a few things going on emotionally and mentally, of course, um, that I'm trying to work out with. Um, I'm like struggling a lot with, uh, I don't wanna see my identity as a person because I know who I am. But uh, more like with my religion and just, you know, just things like that. Um, I still do all the things because I believe it's right, but then I don't follow others like covering myself up um i'm not in modest uh but i don't know i just feel like i'm not strong enough to be uh singled out which is stupid because of what's going on in the world and people are dying for their faith and here i am worried but it's just, um, thankfully I have therapy today. So that's on, uh, it's been on my mind nonstop. Um, like, I, right now, um, lately the only time I've been putting on my hijab is when I pray. I put on my prayer garments and do that. Um, because, you know, it's respect and everything but then I don't want to but then I feel like I don't know it's just a lot of conflicting emotions um so I'm hoping uh, Ramadan helps me clear out my my thoughts and everything that's going on within me because it's a cons uh, constant battle and uh, you can't find peace if you're always battling yourself and you can't be the best you if you're always not in peace and at war within so that's my personal struggle right now I hope um, some people can understand um, I think it's especially hard because I am the only one. My husband, I have talked to him. 
he is not interested at all. Just saying that makes me want to cry. <sighs> like, the whole point is for us to live together after we die. And Jenna. And he wouldn't be there with me. thinking that gets me every time sorry oh but anyways on a oh my god <laughs> hold on <laughs> okay Whew. all right so that's something I'm gonna be talking to my therapist about <laughs> Um, one of a few things. So I think we're going to have to have more sessions of this coming up month. But the, um, the bike ride was good. It did wear me out. I didn't go to the gym on Friday. So I went to the gym on Sunday and did what I was supposed to have done, um, on Friday, which was arms. So I did arms on Friday or on Sunday. And then instead of walking on the treadmill, which I like the treadmill because when it's cold or too hot, you can do it and you can walk fast and then change it to walk slower and go at an incline and just, you know, do all that. Uh, normally you can get that done if you have the terrain to do it on, like on a trail that goes up and down hills and things like that. It, naturally does it but um because my husband went with me and everything and uh, it was chilly outside uh, it wasn't as chilly as today but it was chilly um because it was windy so I was like you know what I'm on this treadmill or doing cardio in this gym all the time can we do the track so we went on the track and <laughs> The fun thing about the track is that there's 30 stops you can hit. There's a gym right out there, a Pokemon gym. Then there's a actual Poke stop at the track itself, like halfway point on the track. And then there's one that we can barely get that's the bridge that leads across the street to the track. And when we would come around at that one point, we could hit all three of them. So apparently there's a lot of blue gym people here and uh, in, in my household there's three of us right now and my son's yellow and my husband and I are red. My friend was also red so we would hit up gyms and like you know take over but yesterday we took over three gyms while we were walking. Um, we went to another park, uh, took over that gym, then we took over the library gym and uh, did we take over another one? Was it three or four gyms? I don't know, but I, safe to say three at least. And um, I evolved some Pokemon. I did some accomplishments and um, it was fun. It was fun, something to do with him. I asked him if he can at least pick a day that would be cool for him to work out with me on the weekend. So that way I'll work out Monday through Thursday, take Friday off, and either work out Saturday or Sunday. And uh, I, I would like it to be Saturday because that way, you know, it's only one day in between. But that way I still get my five days of workout that I have been maintaining for two weeks now. This is gonna be my, today's Monday, so this would be the start of my third week weight loss i haven't seen any weight difference i haven't gained or lost um i do feel stronger in just um these two weeks i have moved up in uh, weights i started doing 15 pounds of overhead press i am now doing 20 pounds of them you know, 20 on each arm, and I do 10, uh, 
10, I do three sets of 10 at 20 pounds. And uh, the seated row, uh, seated row, when you sit back and pull, um, I do the close grip one. I started off doing 60, I am now doing 70. And because I, um, once I feel once you have worked out with weights, it's easier to go back to them. Uh, the cardio, not so much, <laughs> but the weights, yes, your body remembers. And it's like, okay, we remember this. Um, I am having a little problem with my knee, uh, knees. I have Oscar Schlatter on my right knee and right now my left knee feels like instead of being like this, like it's trying to go sideways. So I have a brace to kind of keep it in place. Um, so I'm going to put that on when I go and work out and uh, hopefully that helps, you know, because that's, I think that's what's getting it. It's moving out of place while I'm working out and then I come home and I still you know go out every hour to hit my uh, by the time I get home I've already hit my step goal but to go every hour and you gotta have like I think it's eight hours of movement of at least 250 steps and usually you know I just get it being around the house but I make I want to go above that so I purposefully go and walk outside and I think that might be too much if I don't wear the brace at the gym and then I'm doing all this. I don't want to injure myself and then set myself back. Um, I kind of know my body and I think that's where it would be headed if I keep on doing that. So that's going to stop. Um, and like I said, today I have therapy at two. So that's a thing. I'm picking up my switch again um i had stopped playing it for a little bit i don't know what i was doing i was just i was just really out of it um like i felt like i was going through the motions and my routine was just getting out of bed making my bed sitting outside for a little bit before it got really cold and then coming inside and sitting inside and i just do housework now I have incorporated working out. I have made sure I take the time to journal, um, which I'm already like halfway into it because I had to buy a new journal um, last year, like in November, because I, I try to write in it every day. And uh, I kind of have a collection of, uh, well, not a collection because I used to throw them away, you know. You write things in there that you don't even tell your therapist sometimes. So I would get rid of them. Um, I don't want something to happen and then somebody sees it. <laughs> but now, um, once I fill this one up, I'm going to have three uh, full of things. And I, they're all dated. And uh, so I can look back and uh, see how I was feeling and stuff. But... Some of them I don't want to look back on because I know how I was that year, how depressed I was, and I don't want to see that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm halfway done with this one, and today is a fresh new week, so I get to decorate my planner for today, or for this week, and um, play Animal Crossing and then head out to the gym. So that's what I have going on so far. Um, I think I'm going to end it for today. So what you are seeing is the bike ride that I took on Thursday and just a little bit of it because it was dark. So I didn't do much. Um, if you remember, I used to do a whole lot more filming, but, uh, I hadn't been on my bike in a while and I didn't want to chance it. Um, but so it was a little bit of that on that I did on Thursday. Like I said, Friday, I took uh, the day off and um, Saturday, I just did my steps and Sunday I went and worked out and uh, did all that stuff. So that's gonna be in there. 
a little bit of a postal rant. So if you want to see that, <laughs> be warned. Um, and I'm just going to start a new vlog uh, later today or if not tomorrow. So, okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And thank you so much for subscribing. I want to say you guys mean the world to me. Um, it really does. Because when someone feels so isolated and everything, and you see that there are people that at least, you know, are aware of you, it helps out a lot. It really does. And I want to say thank you. I appreciate it. So, all right. Um, I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.